Buckle up, brothers and sisters, you're in for a wild ride. The Knuckles Show is not bad. However, it is not great either. It basically sits perfectly in the middle. It has its really bad scenes and it has its really good scenes. It can best be described as a roller coaster. And just so we're very clear, no, it is not bad. Because I've heard some awful shit online. And do you know what? I kind of understand you. I don't blame anyone who thinks the show was shit in their opinion. This show was probably the biggest risk the studio could have ever made. It is called The Knuckles Show. However, I think it should be renamed to The Wade Show. Because you cannot look at me in the eye and tell me this is a Knuckles Show. A show dedicated for Knuckles. Bro, you even have way right here literally wearing knuckles's clothes instead of having just knuckles there and of course you do have knuckles there this is just like one of the weird scenes in the show and speaking of weird holy fucking shit this show is extremely goofy dreadfully goofy i don't mind some goof here and there but these six episodes have zero shame in overusing goofiness however i must praise them that at least when the scene get serious at least they sometimes take the scenes very seriously without cracking tons of jokes that's already much better than ant-man 3 which is to be honest not a high bar to cross there are episodes where the jokes are more than the story not just jokes like just absolute goofiness like the scene behind me this is a scene where they basically explain knuckles's backstory without knuckles by using i don't know fucking theater disco style where they basically sing about knuckles's backstory and don't get me started about the freaking mac dude like the elder echidna thing i i hated that <laughs> i hated the fact he can just come in and throw plot points on your face and about plot points on your face yeah the show has a lot of aspects that just don't make sense but they're there they expect you to just like yeah what Ever. why not they expect you to really why not a lot of the show and believe me you can do it once twice thrice once you get to the 10th time it becomes a bit problematic not everything must be a why not no we need some whys like come on and returning to the topic of goofiness and jokes i don't mind some of the jokes but I feel like most of them just drag out for a long, long time. To the point that joke just like stops being funny. They milk every single joke in there. That you finish the joke hating it. The only jokes that are actually funny are the ones that are not dragged out. And believe me, there are not much of them. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like I barely knew that much about Knuckles. Even though I've watched six episodes of the knuckles show i know three times more about wade than i do about knuckles now and that's a big problem <laughs> the villains are the villains are okay are, they're good they're good i wish the woman who had like the knowledge of these creatures aliens had more to do like why not have her be the main villain in the show i feel like the actual main villain the bearded dude barely added anything to the show other than the final battle which by the way had zero vibe i tried to vibe check it real quick and yeah knuckles doesn't care at all about this dude he doesn't even know who the fuck he is he's just one random bearded guy that started attacking knuckles and now that's the final battle of the show yeah that's literally it knuckles doesn't know anything about him and about all his plan if it was the other two that would have been a much better final battle because well there was build up there was character interaction at least knuckles actually knew about them and hated them and by the way i did say it's not bad but all i've said is bad things so let me say something good the fights the freaking fights are all really really good looking i don't think i disliked any fights in there all of them were really damn good i think knuckles was great of course idris elba did an absolutely fantastic job voicing knuckles and most of knuckles's humor is very similar to sonic 2 
which I loved by the way. So at least that's something good about the show. When you have Knuckles on the screen, it's a good scene. Wade on the other hand, ah, uh, I could not handle him the first two episodes it was too much just too much there is a reason side characters are called side characters and wade is even below that he's just a joke character in the normal movies so suddenly having him as the main face of the whole show having the most screen time is a really bad idea especially when you realize just how awful the character actually is and i'm not saying it in a good way there are awful characters that are written in a great way but wade is just an awful character written awfully <laughs> I don't care about doing this specific research, but how old is Wade? Because he and his sister are depicted as these two absolute whiners and sadly are adults. Don't get me wrong, I am not against the idea of immature adults. Like, this is a thing, but this is not how you do it. They made it sound like these are literally in freaking preschool fighting over toys or something. That's literally how it feels. It feels like they didn't even reach their teenage days. And yeah, when you try to build humor around that, it's it, it just doesn't fit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe for kids, the end, Knuckles is it's a family show. It's not an adult show or 13 or above sonic 3 is gonna be 13 and above but knuckles yeah it's all ages but yeah i i i did not like the weight being the main face of the show aspect i came in here expecting to learn much more about knuckles about his tribe about exactly what the song behind me sang but actually living it maybe as a backstory or something but this is just not the way to do it all 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 of this all, all this is not how you do it and yeah i think the storyline between wade and his father is it's it's good it's actually good that's when wade actually becomes a pleasant character to watch when he's still stupid but actually is taking things seriously because i don't want the show to be a complete goofball and i also don't want the show to be completely serious there's a middle ground somewhere in there and i feel like the final episode wade is that middle ground that i liked and yeah uh, if you want like a out of 10 rating I'd give this a 6 out of 10. And believe me, I am being <laughs> generous here. It is good, but not bad and not great. That's like how I would perfectly describe the show. And yep, that's about it.